The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Welcome to the raw and uncensored Ambitious Podcast. I'm your host, the original HBIC, Katie Boyd. During our time here together, I will be instilling all of the strength, power, and determination you will need to use the very stones thrown at you to build your ultimate empire. We will redefine the word bitch from the derogatory to the acronym being in total control of herself. So let's adjust our crowns and prepare to live life ambitiously. Oh yeah, here I am, the original HBIC, Katie motherfucking Boyd. Welcome. <laughs> and over Love here that. is my ride or die, my homie, my wingman, Matt Babine. Yes. And today is such an exciting day. Because I would like just to say, it's our anniversary. It's our anniversary. It's our anniversary. Yes. Today is our one year wow. being ambitious AF and having our ambitious podcast. That so awesome. thank you to each and every one of you out in ambitious land for making this possible. I can't believe it's a year already. It's crazy. Wow, that was fast. Isn't it wild? That's how many? 52? 52 podcasts. In the can. In the can. In the, can. In the mouth and in the can. <laughs> <laughs> and think about it. Like Ooh. I have never missed one week. Never. Never. Why would you? Never. Even You're though there has there was a day recently that Ed Sullivan was like, why the hell are you here? We're not supposed to be here today. And I'm like, what? <laughs> we never miss a day. But we never miss a day. We never miss a day. And that's why consistency is key. Is key. In anything you do, especially if you are ambitious. Yep, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Well, it helps some people do podcasts. Oh, I did that for about two months. And oh, I my don't know why gosh. I didn't take off. It's like... You put in the time. There's been some amazing podcasts over, you know, I've been listening to podcasts for a really long time. And there's been some amazing podcasts that were on for like three months. Wow. And you're like, oh my God, I love this podcast. And then one day it just like disappears, like yeah. a fart in the wind, and you well, never hear from it again. Well, it's a fart in the wind, and, and it's, you know, it's or hard, smell right? it. <laughs> but it's crazy though. Like people are just like, they think that they're going to do this for, you know, three months or three weeks and they're going to become like famous podcasters and they're going to get all these endorsement deals and, all, you know, they're going to be like speaking all over the place. And it takes time. I'm yeah. still not even a tenth of where I desire to but be with the podcast. Your, you're on your way big time. Oh, absolutely. So welcome to the Ambitious Podcast, our one year anniversary. And like I always start all of my podcasts off and, and I will not stop today just because it's our one year anniversary. <laughs> I'm not drunk, guys. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, maybe later we will be. Yes, because I celebrate. think we should pop some bottles today. <laughs> uh, so I always love to read because it means the world to me, my five-star iTunes review of the week. And this is from C-A-P-S-M-K-S. I'm not trying to make a word with that. <laughs> and they say, be the best version of you. Five stars. Listen to Katie Boyd's podcast and the time flew. I wanted to hear more. See you next Tuesday, she says. Or he says. Who knows who it is <laughs> because their name is not here. Yes. Whoever you are, if you're listening, email me at themisfitclub at gmail.com to get your $100 gift certificate to use towards anything K. B M F C related. Truly, the iTunes reviews mean the world to us. It, it keeps us going. Absolutely. Like every time when I see an iTunes review, especially if I'm having a bad day and I'm like, oh my God, this is so much work preparing for this podcast every week because no. Matt and I don't just show up here. Well, Matt does, but we don't just <laughs> Dude, show up I here every work week and every podcast. <laughs> say, the craziness. Right. We have uh, intention and attention to what we're trying to say and the services that we're putting out there and the help that we're putting out there. So it takes a lot of work. So when we see your reviews, it really, truly keeps me going. Don't you agree? Absolutely. And it makes me feel yeah. like, wow, people are really listening and they're gaining so much from this. So I appreciate it from the bottom of my little black heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you haven't gone on there yet, just stop what you're doing. Go on iTunes, give it a five-star review, and give us a little write-up. Stop being a lazy bitch, okay? Get over there and do it. Yeah. yeah being a bitch it. is being in total control of him or herself, but let's be honest, like now you're just being a lazy bitch, and that's not <laughs> cool. 
Oh my God. And just before we get into the nitty gritty of our one year anniversary podcast, I just want to talk about two ways to get in touch with me. So really the best two ways to know what is going on in ambitious land and at KBMFC is to go on kbmfc.com and go to the events page to see uh, all the things that are coming down the pretty pink pipeline at KBMFC and in ambitious world. Mm. A lot of people are looking for their tribe. They're looking for their community. They need help. They're looking to take their night life to the next level. And all of the ways to do that with me as your wing mama is on the events page and programs page. And then really also number two, subscribing to our weekly email I send out a little love note every Tuesday and I, you know, I write this with so much intention Mm -hmm. and so much service behind it. So that's the best two ways to really know what's going on in the world of KBMFC. So you ready to rock this? That's awesome. Yes. So ambitious is truly, in my opinion, a movement. Yes. I know it's a movement for many people who follow the ambitious podcast and all the things that we're doing all over the world globally. And there are certain things that you can do on a daily basis to be more ambitious. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a a little list. That's awesome. And I'm going to read it from my Google Docs because obviously I did not plan ahead today and my (laughs) laptop shit the bed. (laughs) This is what happens sometimes. Just roll with it. The last show of our our year anniversary, right? Well, you're not a year. No, I'm not. You came on during the Relationships Podcast. That's right. I invited Matt on to the Relationships Podcast, and then he just never left. <laughs> and there's days That's what where... happens when you went, you went out on a date with oh me, too. Oh, my God. You're go really away. diligent, huh? Very diligent. Oof. Very, Lord in heaven, help me. Definite. <laughs> You're like those um, drop ceilings that get the leaks that no one wants to replace. They just every time you sit on the toilet, you look up and there there is the leaky drop ceiling piece. That's me. That's me. <laughs> You're that leaky. ceiling tile yes. with the stain. But you kind of like to look at it every now. Yeah, and it's weird. It's like a sickness. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. If you're new to the ambitious movement, thank you for joining us. If you're an old school ambitious gangster, thanks for coming back. A lot of you who are old school, you guys know how to be ambitious, but there's always room for improvement. Yep. Don't you think? Absolutely. So these are my top 20 ways to stay and be ambitious and to work on your ambitiousness. Nice. Yeah. And I hope this helps. So number one, when you are really, truly head down, and you want to take life to the next level, and bitches, we don't get hammered. Mm. Isn't this crazy? Yeah, absolutely. Matt loves to drink, by the way. I also love to drink as well. <laughs> but I, hammered. I didn't know what kind of hammered you were talking about. Not hammered what like, kind of hammered, like, like this. You're going to get hammered. No. Or hammered at work. Drunk. Or, oh, hammered drunk. Yes. Okay, yeah, I know like all about Like when you're really, truly trying to reboot and be, yes. be ambitious as you can, yes. there's kind of no room for alcohol in it. So what I, I talk. I agree. <laughs> Matt is such a lying sack of shit. He cannot. He's actually has the booze shakes right now, and he cannot wait to go home and here. make a martini. Uh, yeah. oh, I, love, I love a good martini. So think about it. If you're trying, so I am in the middle of developing this thing called Ambitious Twenty Eight, and it's a program. It's a twenty eight day program because so many people from all over the globe who follow the Ambitious podcast are like, "We want to work with you. Yeah. We want to do everything ambitiously." And obviously, you know, I coach people. I do life coaching. I do mentoring and stuff like that. But I wanted to create a program where it would take the entire ambitious movement, soup to nuts, and put it in a, to a 28-day program. Because yes. I really truly believe that if you can do anything for 28 days, four weeks, mm-hmm. it creates new neural networks in your brain, Absolutely. number one. And new habits. New habits is yeah. so huge, yeah. right? Yeah. So people want to work, they want to white knuckle on dropping bad habits. Yeah. And things that are the opposite of, in my opinion, of ambitious are bad habits. So what I'm saying to you is if you can do 28 days of a program and reboot yourself from everything, from your boundaries, to your food, to your exercise, to your peer groups, to your boundaries, to your relationships, like whatever it is, that's what I've been working on. So I want to talk to you guys about what this movement is all about truly. So when you're doing a reboot like this, you got to quit alcohol, okay? I don't care if it's your Labrador Retriever's third birthday or if it's your Quinceanera or if it's President's Day. No alcohol when you're trying to really take your life to the next level. Matt is so mad about this. He's no, got like no, a puppy I'm, dog I'm, face. I'm listening to you. <laughs> you should try following it and yes. be more ambitious. Number two, <laughs> you got to exercise. you got to move your body. So I break my exercise in ambitious land down to three points, okay? Mm-hmm. Yoga. 
So important. Mm -hmm. I really truly believe that so many people, they pound away at their body trying to like lose weight and to we look a certain talking, way. Talking to a good friend of ours who's a runner. Yeah. And he had to stop running because yeah, he was just beating the heck out yeah. of his uh, joints, knees, Kills and, and so forth and so on. So he changed up his workout. Right. This is perfect for him. Absolutely. Absolutely. Unless perfect. you're Usain Bolt and your body was literally made to run like a gazelle out in the, you know, in the wild, in the right, bush. Right. Not many people's bodies were made like that. And they try to, you know, kill themselves in the gym. But what I'm here to say is if you just adopt the process of every, you know, a couple days a week I do yoga. You don't need a fancy yoga studio. No. You know, I do everything virtually. A couple days you do yoga. A couple days a week you lift, mm -hmm. but you use primal movements. You don't have to be pushing thousands of pounds of weight and doing CrossFit and doing all these crazy things. Just using the movements that our ancestors used to keep themselves yep. active and fit and long and lean and injury free. A lot of what like Tom Brady talks about, like the pliability. Yes. And last but not least, just try to get 10,000 steps a day. Yep. You know, people are like, I got to go and kill myself and do like three hours of cardio a day to lose weight. And I'm like, no, just like no. move your freaking ass. Yes. You know, do you ever see a fat caveman? Nope. No, no, no. Because nope. they were eating good food. Good food. And sometimes not eating for days. Yeah, and fasting. you know, I'm a huge proponent yeah. of fasting. Yeah. It's another way to be ambitious. Um, right now I do OMAD, which is uh, one meal a day. Mm -hmm. And it's totally changed my life because I'm such a high performer that I am working and I am achieving all day long. And to stop every three hours like I used to and be like, I got to eat my protein and I have to have my Ugh. protein shake and I have yeah. to eat this food and weigh in all your food. It's just such a pain in the ass. And I've never felt better in my entire life. And I, and I feel like I look good. My skin's good. I sleep great, like yeah. all of it. So you don't have to kill yourself in the gym to be ambitious. You want to be healthy and exercise and yoga and some kind of cardiovascular movements are so important. Don't you agree? Absolutely. Don't you feel so good when you work out I, every day? I work out every day and I love the OMAD, the one meal at nighttime. Yeah, you love is that. It's really great for me because I used to get tired in the day when I, I would force myself to eat even right. if I wasn't hungry Thinking sometimes. that what? You have to. Right. You're supposed to. You're supposed to. And I just, it's, it's been great for me. Yeah. So I'm following it. I agree. Now. Well, the old way that we were brought up and I was brought up in, nu in the nutrition world is having my degree in nutrition is you got to eat every three hours because that's what keeps your metabolism burning. And it's actually right. the, opposite. the opposite. So what happens is if you're eating every couple hours, it doesn't help your metabolism. It actually shuts your metabolism down in so many ways because think about it. If 80% of your energy on a daily basis goes to digesting and assimilating food and you're eating every three hours, your body's never given a rest to actually repair and recuperate, right? Right, right. yeah. And then Matt is not going to like this one either. Ugh. Waking up very early in the morning. Well, I'm an, I'm an, I'm an early bird myself. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't quite get the worm. <laughs> Sometimes I get the worm. No, Matt likes to sleep. I like Matt likes seven, to sleep. Seven thirty. Yeah, that's, that's that's regular. I'm a more of a five a.m. -er, but Matt mm. also goes to bed really late, and he says he's a night owl. Yeah. But I really truly believe, even if you're listening out there, wherever you are in the world, and you're like, oh, I'm a night owl too. I can't get up mm. early or whatever. Or you work third shift, or you're you know you work in a cage at a rave dancing all night, and you don't get home till seven a.m. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm working. I have a part time job at you a gotta, rave. You got to figure a rave it out. In the cave. God I help me. Seven jobs, man. <laughs> yes. That's how a throwback from a living color, isn't That's it? An old one, yeah. So think about it. If you are waking up every day in, early in the morning or you know, around your circadian rhythm, you're gonna get your body into a rhythm that is high vibrational. Mm -hmm. If one day, you know, you're waking up at five, the next day you're waking up at noon, and the next day you're sleeping until ten, it's just like your body wow. never has any kind of rhythm. And I really truly believe that, in my opinion, the people who are most ambitious and most high performance. They are on a good sleep, sleep schedule. schedule. Absolutely. Yeah. So I have to agree with you, but I don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> I agree with you 100%, but I don't like it. Yeah. Number so work it. six is using healing modalities. So part of being ambitious is use healing modalities such as meditation and sound healing and breath work every day. The pro The program that I'm putting together actually has everything in it. So it has like the sound healing every week changes, the meditations change every week, the breath work changes every week, and I tell you actually where to do them and, and how to do them. And that's the thing that's so amazing is, you know, knowing that there's resources out there to learn how to do this because like, I don't know about you, but I didn't grow up in an ashram in India. No, nope, I didn't Like either. this stuff didn't just <laughs> come to me, right? Yeah. Like I had to actually work to learn this. Absolutely. And, you know, healing yourself. Remember, you don't need anyone else to help you. Healthy is actually heal 
The healthy self is heal thyself, Mm -hmm. right? So we can actually um, be the captains of our ship and really truly heal the things that, you know, maybe we've been stuffing down for a really long time. Absolutely. You've been working on it a lot. And I was just thinking, I'm like, what an amazing, amazing program. And you should be so freaking proud of yourself. Well, thank you. And it I was mean, a lot I, of work. Oh, I mean that Let me since, tell you. And I mean it sincerely because there is not a program out there that is hitting all of these aspects. Right, there right. Really, there really is. I've never, and I've been following this stuff forever. Mm-hmm. And there may be a piece here, a piece right. there. Just but, mindset, just food and workout, yes, just whatever, but, but nothing's bringing it all healing, together. Meditation, yes, uh, all the different things that you're bringing to this program, mm-hmm. you are going to shift. Yeah, you're going to shift you. the universe. I and know. It, it was a lot of work, so you motherfuckers yeah. better appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not just here for our good looks and great racks here, people. That's right. Check out my rack. Well, all I want here. It's very juicy. <laughs> uh, number seven, get quiet and block out daily distractions by using the ambitious myopic time technique. So what I do every day, and I've talked about this on past podcasts, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it in this program, is the myopic time technique. So what you do is you set a timer for 55 minutes. You can set it on your phone. You can set it on your watch. You can set it on an old school egg timer. I don't care what it is. And what I do is I say to myself, okay, for the next 55 minutes, I'm, my ass is sitting in this chair or is doing this task and I am focused forward. And when the 55-minute buzzer rings, then you can get up. You can yeah. stretch. You can go to the bathroom. Give yourself a cup of coffee. Maybe do some like squats or yeah. some breathing exercises or whatever. Matt is looking at me because he's so the opposite of what no, I, I teach when it about, comes to this I was shit. Like, how can I use this 55-minute timer for myself? And I'm thinking like, huh. I'm going to put this timer on. I'm going outside. I'm smoking a cigar and having a martini. With his my hands down his pants. Minute, my 55-minute timer <sighs> is on. Do you see why Don't I'm the me. face of ambitious? Leave me alone. And Matt is <laughs> the, the face of Two Guys Smoke Shop. <laughs> Really, truly, seriously. No, but it, this could be used for pleasure or it can be used for work. That's what I said, yes. So that's oh God, why I just want to help you make like, feel good 55, about yourself. I'm on my 55-minute break. Oh, my God. But think about how much <laughs> stuff you can get achieved, oh. to how much stuff you can achieve in 55 minutes yes. if you just put your head down. And then what I do is I do this all day. So if I have a deadline for a book or if I'm writing a program or if I have clients or whatever it is, yes. I say to myself, okay, for the next 55 minutes, I'm doing this one task. I don't care what's going on on Facebook. I don't care who's texting me, who's calling me, what's happening in my home or what's happening in my company. I am myopically and monomaniacally focused on this one thing. And I think this is something that really will change your life and take it to the next level if you really put it into play. Well, all can decide. I mean, you know, multitasking, there's, you do everything half-assed, right? Yeah. You're, you're it's not a real thing, by the 20% way. 20% over here. And you really know you can only focus your mind on one task Absolutely. at a time. If it's something important, right? right? So this is that's fantastic. If you're writing yeah. a, your book, for us to say, and you go on Facebook three times in an hour, I mean, you're, the cost of switching is so great mm-hmm. that you'll never get anything accomplished. And then you're going to have to go back and edit the hell out of it because you're going to be like half in the bag when you're doing it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Number eight, all people who live the ambitious lifestyle, they take one full rest day with a digital detox. So that means like – no exercise, no cardio, no phone, no computer, whatever. It's just like doing things that really feed your soul and nourish you as a human. Matt, I didn't know I was boring the fuck out of you and no, you was over here coughing. yawning. I was coughing. You're no, that was a yawn. Out. You it were like, not a yawn. <laughs> yeah, coughing my balls. I I'd never yawn during yeah. this podcast. But we do it. We do it usually on Sundays. Absolutely nothing on Sunday. Yeah, and we sit Detox. and we, we talk about the week and what we yeah. want, what we desire to accomplish, and even like d- down to like what we're going to eat every day and like where we're going to go if we do go out to eat and like mm-hmm. how are we going to break out a hypnotic rhythm because you know what happens to us too as humans is this is just it's just human nature. We do the same things over and over again. We go to the same restaurants, we hang out with the same people, we do the same thing, and then we just get in these funky ruts. Yes. And what Matt and I do is we say, okay, like, hey. Like we d- we've been doing this lately. Like, let's find like a really weird restaurant and like just go and like screw it. Who cares? Like, let's just put ourselves out there. Or, like, maybe I'm craving something that like I usually don't eat. And let's like drive an hour somewhere Try to go have new. dinner. You yeah. know, like just doing these little tiny things. It really changes your life. It it's, makes you feel like 
it, the day was well lived. And especially if it's a Sunday where you can actually just take off and go and do whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Or off. It's, it, it is nice. Yeah. yeah. It is nice. And when we do, uh, number nine, when we do this kind of work together, what I do is I have my clients who are part of the, the whatever we're doing, whether it's um, online training or the Ambitious 28 program that we're going to be putting out there, I have them weigh themselves and measure themselves only once a week mm -hmm. because I have clients that come and they measure themselves like four times a day. They weigh themselves four times a day. Like, well, what the fuck? Gonna what are you doing? Yeah. That's not living a free and ambitious life. That sounds like a horror show. But if you I don't want to measure myself. <laughs> Matt's like, plan or no plan. They don't even have a tape measure big enough for this tape tits. measure anything. All right. Except Big Bernard. <laughs> Disgusting. All right, but that's another thing too is like, you know, Getting yourself out of this like rhythm where you're like, I have to weigh myself. I have to measure myself. I have to, uh, uh. It's like, it's just one more way to make you feel like and you're if, not good enough. And if you're putting muscle on, you may, you may weigh more. You I know, always tell, lost weight, absolutely. You know? I always tell this to everyone I work with like, the scale is a big, fat, dirty liar. And if you're trying to be as healthy and as ambitious as you possibly can, that's probably not the best thing to be doing. No, it's not good for your soul. And number 10, beating the crap out of yourself. Cut out anything that's toxic. I'm pointing to over here. <laughs> if you can't see me, why? I know this is a podcast, yeah. but it's also a vodcast. So, you're so. Pointing, why are you pointing at me? No, I'm just busting balls. Oh, okay, just kidding. But cut out anything that's toxic. That means work, environment, people, thoughts, whatever is toxic. Being ambitious is surrounding yourself with the most high vibrational frequency energy that you can. And anything that's toxic is not really helping you live your best life and be who you desire to truly be. Right? Absolutely. Oh, Matt's going to love this one. This is like one. the best program no ever. No shit. Are yeah. you, do you love, love it? it? I love it. You should pay yeah. me to do it. I'm going to do it. Because I am so I'll sick of it. doing this shit with you for free. Wait, I'll do it before it's released and you can oh, see the results You can be my guinea pig. Me. Oh, God. Right, I'm afraid I'm, for that. I better go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight yeah. and get up at uh, 5 a.m. Yep. I think that's a great idea. Matt's going to love this one. Number 11, make the last five minutes of your shower cold. Oh, uh, gosh. Matt hates it, but I, I do like it. Adults. I blast myself for five minutes five at the minutes. end. Of, yes. I don't know what the hell you're doing. When you that. first do it, you're like, oh, this is worse than death. Oh. Like you're just like, someone just take me now, God. If it's lukewarm, I don't want it. No, but <laughs> like it, screaming. it's so good for your brain. Shot. It's it so is. good for your body. It makes – it just – you know, we talk a lot about anchoring and priming mm -hmm. when you're trying to be, you know, high performance and high vibrational. Yes. And like the last five minutes of your shower, even like just start with 30 seconds of cold water. And you will see how awake it will get you. It really will prime you to step into that powerful energy once you get out of the shower and you have to like, you know, go on with your day, go to work, whatever. Wow. I was just thinking of Matt's it. balls are shriveling as we're talking. <laughs> I was just thinking of 30 seconds. I go, okay, maybe she, I'll do it in 30 seconds. <laughs> and I'm like, no, put, 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 the, put the heat back on. Right? Matt's a, on. Matt's a P-U-S-S-Y, okay, guys? <laughs> I'm not. I'm very tough. You are very tough and rugged. Number two. Thank you. What am I, a freaking Scottish outlander for Christ's sake? <laughs> no, I'm very pretty, tough and rugged. What do you call it? You're the frozen guy. I am. Oh, the, the cold miser? The cold miser. Oh, my God. Well, you look like the heat miser. Oh, my God. We, we could be that for Halloween next year. Let's do it. That would be the fun. kids would love it. Number 12, use NET time to learn new things. So NET time is an acronym. It stands for no extra time. Listening to this podcast while you're working out is using net time techniques. Mm -hmm. um, listening to an, a book on audio while you are walking your dog in the morning is net time techniques. Instead of the news. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, God. Get, get rid the of the news. news. There's nothing ambitious about listening nice. to the damn news. Okay? Yes. So, you know, what I like to do is I am um, – I love language and I am learning Portuguese. And when I cook – I put on like a Portuguese podcast or a yeah. Portuguese thing on YouTube and I will say the words and I'll learn them. And I, you know, that to me, learning another language is such an amazing thing to have. Yes. But people always say, well, I don't have any time. Yes, you do. You just have to do the things like that where it's not multitasking. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, if you're chopping an onion and you're listening to someone say like, bon dia, mm -hmm. boa tarde, boa noite, like whatever. <laughs> it's good morning, good, good afternoon, yeah. good yeah. night, good evening. And like it's not gonna like you're not gonna chop your fingers off, no, because you're like doing 17 things at once, right? Yeah, no, so it's easy. Using the net time technique is also very ambitious. Number 13, we talk about this all the time on the Ambitious Podcast and just in life, is follow your core desired feelings mm. to make all your decisions in life, guys. We don't have to go into that because yeah, that's just we know that and everyone knows that. Yeah, if not go back. Go to, back to the core desired feelings podcast yeah. and number fourteen. Establish fierce boundaries with time and emotion. 
people will always say like, well, this person made me feel this way or this person wasted my time. I have news for you. No one can make you feel any way and no one can waste your time unless who allows it? You. Absolutely. No, you allow it. It's not good. So fierce boundaries is such a huge part of being the ambitious one that you were put here to be. I'm listening to this and I'm like, I got to get my shit together. No shit. That's why I've been telling you, man. <laughs> Jam. This program is right up my alley. Hello. Number 15, batch all tasks, especially work. Mm. So what I do is if I have to write something, like I will sit and I will say, okay, for the next two hours, I am going to write all these things, even if it means writing something for two months out. Because every, when you're in that focus and you have to write this certain thing, say it's an email, mm -hmm. these special emails that you send out every week, or if you have a podcast or yeah. whatever it is, once you get into that flow of doing that one task, so much it just comes. So much easier. Instead of every week saying, oh, now I have to write this thing again. No, no, no. Yep. Batch that shit. Batch everything you do, right? Don't yeah, you think? Absolutely. That's like the smartest thing ever. Do you batch work? I do. I do. When, I'm ha when I have to go see a certain amount of people in an area yeah. for regional, I'll yeah. batch all my doctors That's that I good. need to see. That's smart. if I have have a, a, a seminar that I'm doing at the studio. Yes, I'll put all the, I'll do all the educational material all together. I love that. It's so much easier. So better, yeah. so much better. You know, you're not spreading yourself so thin. Yeah. Yeah. Number sixteen. This is one of my favorite ones. Ask yourself every time something comes into your life: Is this a hell's yes or is it a hell's no? And if mm. it's a hell's no. There's your decision. Don't do it. Just ask yourself, like when someone asks you to do something, say to yourself quickly in your mind, is this a hell's yes or is this a hell's no? And if it's a hell's no, you just say no. And if you have already listened to No is a Complete Sentence podcast. <laughs> that was a great one. Just know that you don't have to give the person any you know, accolades or reasoning just to be like, no. Yeah. But people are just so worried about other people not liking them. So they're like, no, because, and then they give this whole flowery or, speech. Or, you know, I'll think about it. You know, and you know damn right well in your head, right, that you don't want to do it. But you're yes. like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll think about that. Yes. And it's like, that's the worst. What's the point? Then you have to come up with a story. Well, I thought about it now. Absolutely. Instead of it's like, no, I, I, I have something going Agreed. on that day. But thank you for inviting 110%. me. 110%. Number 17, Matt's bad at this, but I'm very good at this. Taking your supplements every day. <laughs> Matt never talk. takes about, vitamins. Wait a second. Remember I was going around you? You were taking your nighttime ritual of vitamins. Oh, God. And this happened the other day. This is actually happened. And she's on the top of the counter, and underneath the counter is where I keep my Tito's. And I was pushing her out of the that's way. That's vodka for anyone make, that's to not. To make myself a Tito's martini. And she goes, in the loop. I can't believe you are closing my vitamin drawer so you can get in to have a Tito's martini. He was closing my vitamin drawer to open the alcohol <laughs> cabinet. I was like, um, this is bullshit. There's something wrong with this. I go, too. <laughs> Seriously. Ooh. Number 18, follow a, li follow a therapeutic ketogenic lifestyle. I've done tons of podcasts about keto. I've lost probably 70 pounds on keto. It's totally changed my life. It, you know, I'm a nutritionist. I'm a trainer. But you know, even the best of the best fall into bad traps and yeah. old habits. So following a ketogenic lifestyle literally is life's changing. Number 19, one gallon of water a day. I am a huge mm. water drinker. My friend over here, not so much. Actually, no, I changed because, you know, something you had told me about how important the water is, right? So I have water in the first thing in the morning, and I'll drink a bunch of water first thing in the morning. Yes. And then I have to stop. And then he does it all day long. And I do it all day long. I have to pull over and take a piss over here, a piss over there. Because yeah, right? I'm on the road all Matt day. Matt knows where all the right? piss places so I have to are. Go find it, and it gets caught in traffic and sometimes, you know, but I am better with my water. Thanks to you. And I You're feel welcome. so much better. Being hydrated makes you feel cray cray. Oh God! Matt gets so mean when he's oh, dehydrated. He's dehydrated, so rude. So I'm like, you grouchy. need to drink some water and stop being such a fucking bitch. I'm, I am very susceptible Jeez. to cray cray with no water. Oh, he's oh, mean. God. And last but not least, this one's especially for you, Matt Babine. Oh, thank you. No cheat meals while you're trying to reboot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't cheat yourself. You don't treat yourself while you're trying to reboot for good behavior. You're not a freaking dog. <laughs> we don't award ourselves with treats yeah. like puppies yes. for sitting and barking and rolling Listen, over. I did my work, chicken pop. Oh I my did my work, ravioli. No, uh, absolutely not. <laughs> I did my work. I need one of those sandwiches. There's like always room for treats, high. but when you're trying to really go to the next level, if you can encompass all those 20 things that I just mentioned, you will be ambitious AF, I promise you. Yeah. So this is just a little taste of what's coming down the pike with this ambitious 28 program. Yes. It's going to be launching this fall. I cannot wait. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> I got to get my shit together. Ah, I guess, I guess so. <laughs> I actually do a really good job. You're teasing. <laughs> Whatever. 
So happy anniversary to us and all you ambitious out there. Thank you for being crusaders for this ambitious movement. And like I always say, see you next Tuesday. Happy anniversary, babe. Thanks. Because it is my anniversary, not yours. Yes. Toodaloo. <laughs>